I'm going to show you in this video how to merge DNS zones. Specifically, we're just on this one. We're just going to do the forward zone. I removed or did not don't have a reverse zone that was pre-existing before installing DSFW. So I'm only going to have the one reverse zone. But uh, let me just show you how you can go about uh, merging zones. So first of all, before we get to to do this, we need a tool. We can use iManager. We go into iManager. We have DNS, and uh, we can go through and, and set up uh, set up DNS with actually OES 11 it has a link to download for the the uh, software, which is the best way to to use it. You still can. There's a way to get the the uh, plugin for iManager to work, but this is the way I'd, I'd use. I prefer. So if we get again, if we go just to the IP address, get um, go click on client software. We can download the Java console. Java console is already downloaded. I'm just going to start it up here. All right, so it popped up. Let's uh, click on Java console. And while this is coming, let me just show you an iManager. We have a zone uh, under DNS, the DNS container. So we have the root servers and then the zone, and a little bit. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Start it up again. So DNS, and then we also have it under the OES systems container. So we've got here's our forward and here's our reverse. So we don't have this reverse set up on the on the DNS um, inside DNS. So what we're going to do is, and as you can see, the root servers that we already have that. Uh, set up in the tree. We don't see a root servers listed here, but we do over here. So what we're going to do is combine these two zones, the OES LAN and the other OES LAN, and move it uh, over in both into this DNS container. All right. So first we won't need a login, and if you saw my other videos, I suggest using an e directory server to log into not a DSFW, otherwise you need to do a port 1636 to use the e-directory port, not uh, not the domain port on a DSFW server, you know there's different ports, so we'll cover that in, in other videos. So we're going to log in, look at our DNS console, and I'm going to actually export the uh, the reverse zone as well. So we, we, can, we come in here, we can see the reverse zone, we've got a uh, forward zone, and I'll show you. We look in here. We can s we can see the objects now. If we go to click on this one, we're not going to see anything. If I log out and log back in, and I click on this zone first, I'll see all the records, but I won't see them on on this one. It, it's part. It's because the DNS uh, console tool is not expecting you to have two zones with the same name. You cannot create those inside uh, the, the with the console. DNS console won't allow you to do that. If it detects that that zone name already exists, it's not going to allow you to create another zone with the same name. So it's not expecting this. But we're going to remedy that by uh, well, exporting. So we'll just export. First, actually, let's also say we, usually we have uh, in our existing one, we'll have some records. So let's just go and create a, a record for a workstation. And we'll call it 192, 168. Zero, two. So when we create that, as you'll see, it created in the reverse zone automatically created a record for it there as well. So we have uh, records for both. All right, they're they're all set up, ready to go. Let's go and start by exporting the reverse zone. So we can browse. We'll do it to roots desktop. And we'll call this the reverse. All right, export. Actually, let me just copy that. Okay, finish. So that is exported. Now, if we just kind of go and look, here is reverse. We open it up. And we can see here's our zone information. Uh, 
instance, so the SOA, the server, the name, um, basically the, diff the information, the refresh, interval, retry, uh, all the settings for the zone. We can see the pointer record is the DSFW server, and the NS record is the DSFW server. It has the, the it has for this reverse zone. So it's all all set up. We've got a pointer record again for this workstation object. That's all ready to go. Now let's go in and do the same for these other two. Now we're going to have to to these are the ones we're going to have to merge together. So let's export. Let's see if we can do this. So to reverse, we'll call it FRWD Eater. So this is the one that was set up beforehand. Export, finish, and let's go. Again, we, we're not seeing the objects, but that they are there, and it will export them. Let's do FRWD DSFW. So we can keep track of which is which. We're going to export finish before we delete because we are going to have to delete these we're going to just make sure that these records are are good so here's our e directory one again our zone information and then the records ns record the a records so there's an a record for the D for the server and for the workstation same thing the dsfw we're going to take we got our zone information the the uh, all of these different records, so server records, see there's a lot of them here. Uh, the A record, the NS record, again another A record. It's all right here, ready to go. So this is an A record for actually OES 11. This is for DSFWS1, the actual server. So we, anyway, we've got all the, the records uh, together. So let's go ahead and go back and delete all of these zones. Normally, I mean, if, the, if you have this and if we don't have one zone, really, we don't have to delete it. But I want this to be created in the same container as the other one, so I'm going to export it and and uh, re-import it. So all of them, except for our root servers, don't touch that. That could cause some problems. Okay, so all deleted. Now let's combine our zones. So the zones, we don't need to worry about this. It's the records we need. So we're going to copy. Just add it to the bottom. Save it. We're ready to go now. So let's start with our forward zone. So we're going to import, not create, import. So I usually select on the all zones. Import, browse. Actually, if we just do this, uh, actually, if we don't, <laughs> let's browse. Uh, if we go to root. I should just type it in since this is, seems so slow. Root, and then we're going to go to our forward DSFW because that's the one that we modified. Next, now it's going to ask us what context do we want. And we don't want it in the OES systems container like it is default where it sets it up. We want it to put it in this DNS context. So here we go DNS, select. Now we're going to ask which server is, uh, is going to be managing this zone. We'll, we'll just say that the, the E directory server. Uh, we can add this as an authoritative server as well. Say next. Uh, so this is our zone. It's a primary. Let's give uh, just some basic information. Again, uh, this is our context where we're putting it in the DNS server object. This is our server. And import it's there now if we take a look here's all of our records here's our e directory server here's our dsfw server all right here and then these are the ns records and if we go to the act, click on the zone we want to make sure dsfw is also authoritative if you don't want to you don't have to do this but whatever servers here those these are authoritative meaning they can answer requests DNS requests. So that is all good. Let's just do a refresh to make sure this information is saved. Okay, and now we're on to importing. Let's just type it in root desk 
top. Um, what is the name? Reverse. Reverse. Next. So what is our context? Same thing. The O equals uh, DNS novel. That's where we want it. Next. Which server? We'll do the E directory again this to be the to manage this zone. Next, in our information, DNS server information, all right there. Finish. Here is our reverse zone. And if we want, we can go in and create a record, a reverse record for this. Uh, it actually gets created automatically when if we create one for the C directory. So let's just actually delete and then recreate this specific E directory one just so we have a reverse showing up there. We didn't have one before, so that's why we couldn't import one. So I will call it either it's 192.168.0.110. Watch when we create that, it will create this reverse uh, zone already. So if you had a reverse, an, an existing reverse zone, you would just do the same thing, merging the records into that zone. So export, merge the records, and then import. So that's it. That's all there's to it. We've got one zone, one forward, one reverse. It's all inside the, if we look here, inside the DNS container. If it will pop up here, a little slow. Okay. So inside DNS, you can see here's our root server, forward or reverse. The locator object. Now we have the DNS server object for this DSFW server. This will be in the same location as the NCP server object, so it should be there. But as you can see, no zones are located in this container. So it's all set up, all good, all working the way we wanted to. So we're using our existing DNS server, and we are able to to add the DSFW server as authoritative, and uh, continue on just like it was before. Alright, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.